All right, today we're gonna to install the hood struts on a 21 Bronco. This is a full-size Bronco. This will work on the four-door or the two-door. And you're going to get four brackets, two that look like this, two that are gonna look like this. These two are specific to the side. So we've stamped an, an L and an R on the appropriate bracket. And just as a reminder, left and right is determined by the driver's seating position. So as you're sitting in the car, the left hand side of the car is the driver's side. The right hand side of the car is the passenger side. Not as you're looking at the vehicle from the front of the car. So the right hand is gonna go on the passenger side, left hand on the driver. Um, we're gonna be using existing hardware on the vehicle. So we're not gonna drill any holes. There is a bolt right behind the fuse box, right here, my finger's on it. Uh, we're gonna loosen that bolt with a three, 13 millimeter wrench, and we're going to install our fender bracket. Then we're going to remove these two nuts on the hood, and we are going to slide this bracket over these studs and retighten the nut. And then lastly, we install the, the gas cylinder, which actually provides the force to hold it in. A couple hints, uh, when you loosen the bracket, the hood will become loose from the bracket and your adjustment could be off if you don't align the bracket to the hood in the same way. Uh, you can either put a piece of tape on like we have here to show you where the edge of the bracket should be relative to the hood, but the bracket is attached to the hood when the vehicle is painted, so when you loosen the hood, you're gonna see that underneath this bracket, there is no paint on the hood, so it kind of tells you where it should go. Put the hinge to hood in the same orientation as the factory. All right, so let's get to it. 13 millimeter wrench is the only tool that you're going to need. Okay, so we've loosened this bolt did not remove it, but loosened it, and we're going to slide this bracket over it, just like that. And then we're gonna hold the bracket up so that the flange of the bracket touches the flange on the vehicle right here. And with our 13 millimeter, we're gonna tighten it. The bracket is installed. Next, we're gonna to move to the hood. Depending on how clever you are, um, you may want a, a friend to help with the, the hood uh, so that when you loosen this second bolt, the hood doesn't completely separate from the, uh, the hinge and cause a, a tense moment. See that the hinge moved when I loosened this nut. So before we tighten it down, we're going to make sure. paint line lines up where it was like that okay so don't let that freak you out don't get too worried about it it's giving you a pretty good indication of where it needs to go that process on the passenger side.
So in your kit, you're going to have two gas cylinders uh, with MRT stickers on them. And if you hold them up like this, you can see that they're facing opposite directions. Um, that is so that when they're installed, they're facing up and out. So on the driver's side, this is the correct gas cylinder. So the body of the cylinder is facing up. And it slides over the ball stud like that. And over this ball stud, we'll have to lift the hood up a little bit because we're going to get extra height in our ball stud. Or in our hood strut rather. So you hear that click and that's how you know you have it in position. Now one strut isn't going to hold the hood up. That's why there's two. So keep some support on the hood. Next side up. Okay, so for the passenger side, I think the best way to get clearance here to our connector is literally looping the um, wire harness over the top of the strut and reconnecting the connector. That way when the strut closes, it's not going to be pinching or contacting the electrical connector. All right, so on the driver's side, um, similar to what we did on the passenger side, uh, just reconnect our connector using the same slot that it came out of, uh, draping the wire over the, the gas cylinder, and that'll keep uh, everything out of the way in safekeeping as we open and lower the hood. Now you have rendered the prop rod useless. Weight safe.